do it, they can hear the water in the background. I, I know they're loud. Yeah, it's loud. Okay. Hurry up before you be part of my bloopers. <laughs> be careful. Hi, I'm Healy Means. Welcome and welcome back to my channel where we judge products, not people. Today's video is going to be real quick. I just want to show you something new that I have tried based on several recommendations from my subscribers and others who watch my channel. So I'm still using the Camille Rose products. This time I use the Sweet Ginger Cleanser. I use the Moroccan Pear Conditioner. I did not use the deep conditioner this time. I went straight into moisturizing and styling products. I use the Curl Love. I use the Almond Jai Twisting Butter and I used the Curl Maker. I put about equal amounts of the Curl Love Almond Jai and Curl Maker in my hair, so it's kind of heavy today. I went ahead and I plaited the top, uh, probably like the top half to two thirds of my hair length, and then I twisted the rest of it. I put the flexi rods you see a little bit further down I tried not to roll them all the way up and then I have these in the back I did 100% air dry this is probably day three of air drying I use my Gracie lay slap cap and I use the scarf not a hundred percent of the time so I know I already have like some frizz and stuff but that's okay I'm not worrying about that I will be using the Talia Waji Manoi oil mix and then for my edges I'll be using the main choice laid back effortlessly edge gel this is a little bit thicker than what I thought so I'm gonna try to heat it up in my hand in the palm of my hand just to thin it out a bit here I am just continuing to oil my hair and unravel the plait. And you can see the frizz on one side and no frizz on the other side. I tried something new with hiding that middle part. So I put two plaits at the bottom and then I put three plaits at the top. This Manoi oil was thicker than what I thought. So I did have to rub it between my hands to kind of melt it. And then I looked at the ingredients and I saw that castor oil was the first ingredient. My hair was definitely moisturized and I do contribute that to the combination of Camille Rose Naturals products that I tried. And then look at that definition y'all, that shine, that could be due to the Manoi oil but I think it's still more of the Camille Rose Naturals products. I was very pleased with how this looked and here I'm just showing you kind of what my hair looks like when I undo one of the plaits. Look at that definition y'all, that shine. Now this is the small side of my hair so I am expecting and you can already see like the frizz. I'll work on that to see what I can do but overall very pleased, very happy with just this whole process and I can definitely attribute that to my subscribers and the recommendations I got from people who watched my previous videos and gave me ideas of how to better do these styles. And I don't want to separate too much in the front. I think I did that a little bit too much. And then here I'm kind of picking out. And you can see the frizz on one side and then those curls in the front section, whatever the large side of the part is, those curls are just gonna be loose. I'm using a main choice edge control. You can see my little swoop, swoop, swoop on this side. And then a little swoop, swoop on that side. But I messed it up a little bit, so let's just go ahead and fix that. Just to tighten it up just a little bit. And like I said, you can see that frizz on the small side, but that's just something I gotta work with. Here's just a little shake out 
in the back kind of let the, the curls and the, the waves and the dew just fall as it may my grays is popping out representing we don't want to forget about them and then like I said I'm just looking at the different sides and the final look ladies and gentlemen this is the final look I know and you can see it is apparent I have a lot of frizz right here but this on the on the part side of my hair the the small side is I don't know I have to work with that I need to make this section large enough to not be an issue on the takedown but then also small enough to make sure I get that definition for this style I did nine total plaits I plaited the top as tightly as I could and then I twisted towards the bottom and then I put the flexi rods on the ends to help with the curl this um, this style appears to hang a little bit lower than some of my previous styles usually it's like right at the shoulder or a little bit above the shoulder and I know that's because I'm rolling the flexi rods to the base of my hair the base of my head but I'm also trying to make sure that the flexi rods don't fall out, don't slip off my hair and fall out. So I tend to roll them up kind of tight. But this time, since I air dried and I was up most of the day before I went to sleep um, the first night, then I was able to roll them so they hang a little bit lower. And I definitely, I can see the difference. This section here, so the large side of my part, whichever side that ends up being, these curls are these come out looser so i need to find a way to either plait or twist them tighter or roll them tighter or some kind of way i just want them to have a little bit more like curl and definition you know but this is my hair though it's only gonna curl so tight i'm only gonna be able to plait it and roll it so tight uh but i like it i'm this is good like I'm getting better and better like every time really dude <sighs> this is all I have for today's video let me know how you like the look um, can you tell that I plaited the top and then twisted the bottom you know like does it show like I said I know I have the frizz right here but I'm gonna work on remedying that this is how the back looks one more time I did separate and pick out a little bit I tried not to do it too much because I want this style to last for a couple days some of these styles last for like four or five days some of them I take it out like the next day it just depends on what I'm doing if I like the style or not sometimes styles only last two or three days but it's not the fault of the product or style it's just that I'm ready to wash my hair I'm ready to do something different maybe I worked out a little bit too much maybe I went swimming just it, you know so just because um, you might ask oh how long the style lasts and I say two or three days and you're like man that's not long enough it's not always the style of the product. Sometimes it's just me. Most of the time it's me. Okay, it's always me. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, click the notifications bell. Tell everyone you know. Be safe, be well, and be blessed. Until next time.